Well, last night we brought you the story of three dogs left in a sweltering hot car. Today, less than 24 hours after animal control officers seized the pets, the dog's owners have been vilified online. Post by post, social shaming has become normal. But does it actually change our behavior? CTV Scott Cunningham went looking for answers and he joins us now live with more. Scott? Cheryl, make a mistake and you could face the digital consequences. But according to a communication and culture expert, online shaming says more about the person behind the keyboard than it does about those making the mistake. Leave your dog in a hot car. Turn your sprinkler on during a drought. Or gun down a legendary lion and you could become the next victim of social shaming. I believe it's it's bringing accountability um, because it's, it's worldwide. The modern day version of a lynch mob, digital shaming is everywhere. For American dentist and big game hunter Walter Palmer, it's taken everything. Rich Americans flying to Africa and killing these animals for sport to mount them on their walls is just unacceptable. Killing a celebrated and protected lion, Palmer is being investigated. But online, no trial, just a swift and harsh public conviction. He's been forced into hiding, closed his business, and even faced death threats. It actually ends up damaging society. Uh, Royal Roads professor David Black says social shaming comments, succeeds uh, uh, in humiliating the target, you know, but rarely changes behavior. And worst of all, he says it's making society less intelligent. It actually costs the moral structure of society. It ends up making society coarser and stupider and uh, morally less sophisticated and capable than it was before the shaming occurred. A Victoria cyclist would agree. He took offense after a cycling shaming site started calling for drivers to injure, even kill riders. There are people in the comments saying, run them over, that'll teach them to ride to the right. The creator of a driver shaming page doesn't agree, saying in a statement, I've heard hundreds of times how this page made people more aware of their actions, and that can't be a bad thing. But in the real world, most say it's time for change. I think it's too harsh for human nature to do. This networking shaming, I think, is overdone. Posting comments on shaming sites is not likely to stop anytime soon, but Professor David Black says we can take small steps to create a better society. If you see someone do something inappropriate, go talk to the person instead of engaging the issue online. Join a group trying to address the problem, or if the situation demands, call police or other authorities. Cheryl. Well, probably good advice whether it will be followed is another question. Thanks very much, Scott Cunningham, reporting live for us tonight.